in period number one. Rockers come in, and there's a glove save by Mack and Animal for the first time tonight. On the backhand, Walters coming, fires and off the glove again. Oliveri holding on the backhand, and it squeaks through the five hole. Don Oliveri with his 10th goal of the season puts the Black Bears up by one. Well, this all starts with an absolutely beautiful play from JT Walters. He sees that puck come squeaking out, and he just fires. No hesitation. I love that. It bounces off Babin, who we know has had rebound controls over his career. It finds its way to Don Oliveri. Too much space right in front of the net. Was able to turn around and just kind of flick it. Backhanders are the toughest to pick up for goalies. Weaver plays it to Liam Anderson. And now the blue line coming in. Open ice. Hammering shot. Loose puck again. And it's knocked right back into the back of the net by Josh Fletcher this time. A booming shot from Liam Anderson goes off the glass, and Binghamton pounces on it. Howitzer of a shot, lets it rip, hits off the glass, and Brooks, we've seen some crazy bounces here at the Viz, but look, it bounces up, off Babin, and behind him, and it's 2-0 Binghamton real quick. Nope, Delaney from Giuliano. And now Bond back over to Oliveri, gets it right back with his second of the night. Power play goal for the Black Bears, and they're back up by a pair. Well, an offer you can't refuse from the Don father. He puts one right next to the post on Babin's blocker side again. You gotta wonder if the glove was there, does he come away with it? But like you said, give and take, Black Bears restore that two goal lead. Over to Win, and then Kirkby. Sends Wynn down to the ice here in the final seconds. We've seen Tyson throwing his body a little more these last few games, and he's connected for some big hits. Gaudet, left wing side, excuse me, right wing side, throws it into the glove of Mack and Animal, and held on to. Wins that one back cleanly. Anderson plays it over to Thompson. In the slot, Logar, a lot of space, and he scores. Andrew Logar with the second power play goal of the night for the Black Bears. And they now lead by three, and it's the illustrious Burger King Burger goal. Just locked in low guard right into the hash marks. Made no mistake. You can't give him that much space, Brooks, in that kind of area. Thompson finds him right center of the ice, goes glove down, says thank you very much, and it's 4-1, triple Bs. The push and a whack for JT Walters. Theron, though, has the loose puck, goes out wide. Toe save made by Mack and Anima. You know, Brooks, as I've noticed as we've been watching the game, Binghamton only playing with nine forwards, but so it looks as Oliver scores! There's the hat trick. He takes the water bottle right off the top of the net. Kirkby imploring them to throw the hats, and here they come. I'll get to my point in a minute, but the Don Father making it rain in Binghamton. The hats come flying down. The crowd is on its feet. What a backhander beats the blocker of Trevor Babin. It's five to one as he picks up a cowboy hat with a crown on it. It's a Burger King crown as well. He may oh, be man. the Don of Binghamton, but right now he's also the king of Binghamton with the hat trick. Second hat trick of the year for the Black Bears. It's Don Oliveri at even strength. Milam shot and held on to by Mack and Animal with 8.12 left to go. Decision time for Motor City on if they're going to elect to pull the goaltender. Smith a shot and scores. Outside the dots, Connor Smith goes far post. Black Bears kill off the penalty and they grab an insurance goal here in the third. Well, the Pinckney Michigan kid gets a goal against the Michigan squad. He has been kind of on a tear, Brooks, these last few games. It's about average for them, correct? It is. Pass across, Coas a shot into the chest of Mack and Animal. Second opportunity fought off by 72 in black. Ivashkin take away, looking to grab it right back. This time goes off the end wall. Final push for the Black Bears, three seconds. McCloy just skates it out. Away, the final horn sounds. And the Black Bears win by a final score of six to three here at home in front of 4,200 fans.
at the Vision Veterans Memorial Arena here tonight.